Good morning, Eastsiders. So thankful to have a chance to share God's Word with you today. I've got to tell you, last night I watched Season 2, Episode 1 of The Chosen, and uh, was again just entertained and inspired. If you haven't seen it, go to thechosen.tv or go to YouTube or Facebook and look up The Chosen. And uh, it's a great uh, perspective on the gospel of Jesus. And I think you would truly enjoy it. Well, this morning we're going to talk about uh, John chapter 4, about the story of the Samaritan woman, and about Psalm 139 that talks about the same thing. I'm going to skip most of the story of the Samaritan woman. Of course, Jesus went through Samaria and met her at a well, and she had no husband. She had had five and was living with somebody else and had a bad life. And Jesus talked to her and argued with her through some stuff and led her to believe in him, and not only to believe in him, but to lead most of her community to him. So I'm going to read the verse, then I'm going to read down in Psalm 139, where the psalmist talks about the same topic. Psalm, or excuse me, John 4, verse 39. Many of the Samaritans from that town believed in him because of the woman's testimony. He told me everything I ever did. Now down to Psalm 139. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. So you see, the real miracle is not that God knows the future. It's that God knows us. And knowing us, God still loves us and cares about us. And Jesus came down and lived and died for us. So don't be afraid of someone who knows you. Let his knowledge and his love come into your life. Let the salvation he offered on the cross come into your life. Let the Holy Spirit change you. Because God knows you. And God loves you. And God is for you. May God bless us as we let him show us what he knows about us. Amen. Men's Bible study at 1130 at Venetia. Teens were meeting at the church at 1045 or at City Set on a Hill at 11 to go help them today. Enjoy your day. We'll see you tonight at 7, if not before.